Hello and welcome to this demo and tutorial on how to use Easy Credits. So yeah, when you first get the asset pack from the store and import it into your project, you're just going to get this folder here. Um, so if we click on it and drag the prefab into an empty scene with just the default camera, we can basically already have our credits. And if we press play, we'll just see the default credits play. And yeah, it's basically that simple. So I guess my job's done. There's a few other things we can do, so we'll play around the settings a bit. But if we come in and change the font, obviously we can have a different font and make it look different. So yeah, now we have a little bit of a different look. Uh, we can also come in and change all of our colors. Oops. And mix up the look like that. So now we have a completely different look of our credits, which is pretty simple. Um, if you want to be able to change the roles and team members, you just need to change the size of the array and put in the roles that you want to display. Uh, it's always going to start off with a role first after the credits, the first role, and then it's going to display these names. And then in the empty space, it's going to display uh, the next role, and then it will display the names. And then in the next empty space it will display the next role. Uh, yeah, and as you can see down here, we have the text for our project title. And that's why it says easy credits when we start up. And then, yeah, we get developer, then we get the names, and then we get artists, and then we get the names, and so on. Um, cool. We can also use a sprite instead of text for our game uh, title. So now if we press play, we get a logo instead, which obviously works a lot better with dark credits. Cool. Uh, so then under that, we have all these sliders, which allow us to change basically the look of everything. So we can change the size of the title when you're not using um, a sprite, and that will change the text version. We can change the spacing so it's closer to where the credits start off. Uh, we can change the spacing between the names, make all of them a little bit closer together. That's too close together, but yeah, we can do that. And now we have a lot tighter credits. Cool. Um, then under that we have the scene to exit to. So once it gets to the end of the credits, it's going to wait for this delay time and then exit into whatever scene you say here. So if we go up to the build manager, you normally have your scenes here. They'll have numbers allocated to them. You get the number, put that number in here, and at the end of your credits, it will wait for that amount of time and load into that scene. Um, so then we already showed these. Under here we have some canvas settings. So here's your layer order. So if you want to have some sprites or animations behind your text, you can use that to have the credits show in front of it. Under that you have your render mode, so you can choose how it displays on the canvas. Um, then under that we have don't scroll, which is used for making non-scrolling credits. So, uh, so is the start offset. So we'll show the start offset first. Actually, we'll show both at the same time. So if we hit don't scroll, Obviously, it's not going to scroll. It's just going to ignore our speed, which is where? Our scroll speed here, it just gets ignored. But because we have don't scroll turned on, it also doesn't wait for us to get to the end of our credits before it quits um, and loads into our quit scene. Instead, it just waits for this delay time. So we can change that between zero and 20 seconds, and it will just wait for that time before it quits out of the scene when you have don't scroll turned on. So if you don't have don't scroll turned on, it will go to the end of the credits. Otherwise, it will quit straight away after that. Even when it goes to the end of the credits though, if you don't have don't scroll turned on, it will still wait for that time once it gets to the end. Okay, um, then our start offset, that makes it so that we can bump our title up to the top of the screen. So before it was just in the middle. Now we've bumped it all the way up to the top. That's a little bit too high. So instead, we want to bump that down to like three. And now it's in a pretty good spot. So let's actually just make some non-scrolling credits quickly. 
So I have some pretty good values written down for some. So this is for a text version. So we'll get rid of our logo. So we use the text version. So we want eight, we want minus 0 0.9, we want 0 0.5, one, one point three five, twenty two, fifteen, and zero point eight. So that should make some pretty nice non scrolling credits. Cool. So now we can see all of our credits on screen. Um, that isn't actually perfect. What we want to do is come in and probably make this title spacing a little bit smaller and make this up to four and now we should be able to see the other thing to explain at the end. So now you can see at the bottom we have this powered by easy credits. Uh, you can turn that on or off but basically that marks the end of the credits. If you have it turned off there'll still be the end of the credits at that point it just won't show the text. So it's when you're using the scrolling version of the credits, it's once that comes on screen that it will start counting down this delay. So you can use this to change that offset. So if we change that to zero, it will sit basically on top of the text at the end. And then if we change it to... We set the delay to zero and because we have no scrolling, it kept loading and loading then. So let's just set our delay to like 13 seconds. But if we change this to two now, then you'll see that that is sitting further away. In fact, it's sitting all the way off screen. So yeah, if we just go back to our scrolling credits, just by deleting our object, dragging in our prefab again, and press play, we are back to our default credits. So yeah, you can do a lot with these credits. As I just showed then, I showed only two examples. I showed you the basic scrolling credits and I showed you basic still credits. You can do everything in between that and a lot more. It's just playing around with the settings and getting something you like. So one other thing I'll explain is, like I said, you only need the camera and our prefab in the scene and it will populate the scene with everything else you need. And it will also create the canvas and all of that stuff. Uh, in runtime, so you really don't need to worry. But yeah, so it plays all of it through. Then once it gets to the end and it shows that, it waits for our delay time and it quits to our exit scene. The only reason it's starting again is because we have no scenes in our build settings. So it's just reloading the only scene it knows about. But yeah, hopefully I covered everything. Pretty sure I did. And yeah, if you have any other questions, you can just leave a comment on the YouTube video for this um, tutorial. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you want any other functionality added, or yeah, just have any questions, just leave a comment. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, yeah, cheers.